I'm on a mission to get myself a fire cape within 45 days of membership with one major catch. I'm not allowed to play for more than an hour each day. I'm going to have to find ways to circumvent many of RuneScape's grinds in order to achieve my goal on time. Things like spending hours at sand crabs simply isn't viable, and every day the clock ticks closer and closer to when we have to face Jad. Is this even a possible goal, considering I'm generally pretty bad at the game to begin with? How do I use a grand exchange, and all my experience in-game comes from playing Iron Man? Will I lose my sanity or hair during this process? Find out in today's episode of One Hour Limit Locked. Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode, day 36 here, we're about to get into, things have been going pretty well recently, we have been camping out blue dragons, green dragons even, pretty consistently, and I'm probably going to end up back there today, but I think I'm going to start things off by cashing in some of these bones at the Chaos Altar, because it is something we're going to have to get done, we're going to need a lot of trips there to actually use all these bones, so... May as well start getting through them if it's not busy around there right now. Hopefully we can get some invents off without being interrupted by any PKers and see how we get on. So yeah, that's the plan. Gonna invest in like 20 burning amulets. Should be more than enough for all the bones that we're planning to bury. Okay, I do need to get all this shit on the GE first though, do I? Mm, things aren't selling. Okay, there we go. So we got up to about 600k. Not too bad. I'm gonna go ahead and get 20 of these. And I'm also gonna get some more cannonballs, because I'm definitely gonna need some. I'm gonna get uh, just a couple thousand and fully invest. Hopefully we can get them at that price. Mm -mm. Do we have cannonballs for today? We've got 200. So maybe we get like 500. They're a bad price at the minute. Okay, so we're gonna just dump everything in there that we've got equipped because we don't want any of it on and we want our burning amulets and that's it. So we equip a burning amulet, we get an invent of dragon bones, we teleport to the lava maze. There come 2,000 cannonballs. Cash stack back to non-existent. First level. I'm gonna be coming in thick and fast here. Okay, and then we suicide on the wine. To be honest, it might take us a couple days just to actually do the bones. Like, it could take us a day just to do what we've got stocked up already. I don't know. That was kind of the thing. I wasn't sure how long each trip would actually take fully, so... I kind of just want to get a good read on it. And I am going to go with... There's a transparent... There we go. So I can see through this if there's anyone that logs in behind it. And we're going to have to change our shift click to where. So we can put that back on. Get the dragon bones. Go back. Alright. Feel a lot better now I can actually see through that. We just hover the lock, uh, the hop button. Have it set up to. I have mine on Control X and Control Z to hop forward and backward. I don't know what the defaults is. Did you see a player there? It'd be a lot quicker if I had the RFD chest. Maybe not a lot, but an amount. That was the fifth trip we just finished there. So far so good, we're up to 52 prayer. I think we started on 45, if I'm not mistaken. So it's about two minutes a trip if you take off a few minutes that I spent at the GE. And we've got about, I think for 1,300 dragon bones, that's like, I don't know, 40 something, 40, 46, 47 trips. So yeah, about two days. Of our playtime will be actually at this altar. Day and a half, two days maybe. <laughs> it's funny when you think about shit like that. Oh! 
We've been attacked. Need to turn off our auto retaliate, and we're dead. We lost. Six dragon bones. It's a shame. At least we've got most of the invent off. I would have just kept burying bronze, but my auto retaliate pulled me out, so we've got that off now at least. Gonna keep at it. I'm not gonna be deterred. I'm just gonna hop to. I don't know, different world. I was pretty quick on the button, so he must have been really quick to get me in time. Like, as soon as I saw the, the PK skull pop up, I tell it. Uh, I popped. Got that one down with no incident. Man, this invent's been a long one. For those who are unfamiliar with this process, which I doubt is many people, but just in case, the Chaos Altar not only gives you. Uh, Five, it's five or is it seven times the amount of XP? It's 350%. I think that's seven, isn't it? Whatever it is, this altar gives the best XP rate per bone in the game. It's a 350% boost, which I think, yeah, it's like times seven, isn't it? But then you also have a 50% chance to not consume the bone that you're burying every time, which can just mean you go like infinite on a bone or whatever, uh, which added up makes it like roughly 700% of the prior XP you'd get if you were just shoving them in a hole in the ground. But it can also mean that you get even more than you expected, or even less depending on all the variants. Though it is usually fairly consistent. Should make up for a few losses here and there to PKers. Oh, please kill me, bro. Please kill me. Kill me quicker. I literally, I was like, oh, I can kill myself, but I'm like a tick away from a prior level. Let me bury my own bones a few times. <laughs> and then I was always getting the, the ticks that I needed, because that one bone lasted forever. PK showed up and gave me an easy way out of there. Isn't that lovely? There are people quite active around here at the minute. I might not have picked the best time to do this, as it is like middle of the daytime. It is a day, a weekday, which helps, but, you know, almost noon on a weekday, probably not the best time. 6am on a Tuesday, that's when you want to be doing this. <laughs> Nobody's here at 6am on a Tuesday. Oh, nice, we've got another PK to kill us at the end of a trip. Wait, he left me? Oh, man. He saw how unconcerned I was, I was like, nah, that guy's almost done. <laughs> Yay! Kill me! I... Okay. Lots of people here, apparently. Getting a PK to kill you is actually way quicker than suiciding on the line, by the way. If anyone's wondering why I keep getting happy as they turn up at the end of trips. I might not do this for much longer, though, because it does seem pretty active right now. Might just finish this one last trip off and then go chill at Dragons for the rest of the day. I'll do this at a better time. When there's less mean, nasty people around. Made solid progress though, up to 56 on the prayer. So that's like 11 levels gained today. Bunch of our loot has been selling while we're here as well, which is good. Alright, another level, 57. Okay, time to go back to the dragons. I don't usually like leaving this on transparent, but I think because it takes me time to do it, to change it back and forth, and I will be, you know, going going back there, needing it again. I think I'm just gonna leave it how it is. Okay, uh, potions, potions. Ooh, low on stands. Should probably top up. Any fire, food. Cool, I think we're good to go. Oh, there's one here. Shout out on no life, 11,977. And grid level 18,895. Am I just reading bot names? I'm reading bot names, ah. Okay. Why did my cannon turn on? So rude. Ooh, clue scroll, baby! We can't do that. For multiple reasons. We can't get in the fishing guild, we can't get an elemental shield. I don't think we can get an elemental shield anyway. We might be able to buy on the GE, but I don't know if we'd actually be able to equip it. Oh, we're full. First trip done. Don't need anything else. Oh, I didn't reset. Are you joking? 
Hey, oops, Ricky. Come to give me 480 points, has he? Coins. Guess what, mate? Couldn't give a fuck. Where's my genie, man? I haven't had a genie since the two that fucking appeared on me at the end of my sessions when I couldn't get them. Keep getting books like Rick and Captain Rav and wise old men who just want to give me an apple. Okay, there's another trip done. Oh, we don't have any stamina. Uh, I think it's time to go to the GE. Whew. We don't even have enough for 10 staminas. Oh no. Let's get some shit on. Okay, we got some of our money back from the stands. Still not looking great though. Oh, meat. Oh, I don't want all those kind of balls. Ooh, another clue scroll. Did I just watch some bones disappear? That's so sad. I think I just saw them disappear. Like, I swear there were two sets there and then as I was running over. Okay, we can do that step. I think I'm going to make this a full trip and then do the step on the way back. Ooh, that was a good drop. Bones, dragon hide, insult head and a rune dagger. It's like the best green dragon ever. Don't get much better than that. I suppose it could have had a hard clue as well, but we already have one in our inventory, so... No chance of that happening. Pretty much the best green dragon we could hope for. Been a pretty quick trip, to be honest. Alright, gonna reload the cannon, get on out of here. Quick little reset. Empty the invent. And grab an energy or two. Go to Edgeville. Leave it. There goes the cannon ammo. Jumper almost done. Thank you very much. Okay, I'm gonna just go back to Ferox real quick. We can't do that. Oh well. So I'm actually gonna take this clue back and juggle it on the floor so that there's a chance I get a new one with a step still completed on it. I'm not gonna be like super worried. Hey, this guy's just come to my world. Bruh, what are you doing? He's clearly my world. Yeah, that's right, you hot motherfucker. Don't turn up to someone's world when they've got a cannon sat there and just expect it to all be okay. Probably should have been a little more careful with my health. Didn't bring any food this trip for some reason. Also, that we don't use it really anyway. We just end up eating it to get it out of the invent. Probably going to be the last trip we're about to send. Pretty sure that's the clue step that I dropped. It might be about it for this trip. Okay, I'm just going to reset for the cannon and whatever kills it drops. And then head to the GE. Although we might not get a chance to actually put stuff on the GE. Well, too much anyway. We haven't spent a great deal of time looting shit today. Why did we not get any kills? That's... Oh, that's sick. Okay, I need to get the fuck out of here. Wow, that was tight. That was probably the closest I've ever could it. <laughs> oh. Okay. Well, we don't get to put anything on the GE. Nothing to collect there either. Let's just see. Got 66 more dragon hide. All the last few trips. So, we've got some stuff to sell up here, up to 582 bones, of course, that's lower than it was yesterday, but we spent a bunch of them, we're up to 57 per hour. Uh, so the easiest way to check it is probably that the bank XP said we we're expected to get up to 65 yesterday. Today, it's saying 66. So, we got an extra level worth of XP. Which, you know, we're as it gets closer and closer to 70, the bigger the gaps between these levels are. Like, the difference between 67 to 68 is 50k, but then to 69 it's 63k, and then, like, yeah, more on top of that. So, <laughs> that it's exponential, of course, we're in skip. You, you all know how it works. But, um, yeah, an extra level worth there puts us just four prayer levels banked from 
our goal, which is not bad. It's about 200,000 XP, which is about how much we're currently sat on, but, you know, <laughs> we got plenty in the bank to get it done with. Yeah, not really a lot else to report today. We are closing in on 74 ranged, 33k away, so we should get it tomorrow if we spend a decent amount of time at Dragons again. We got just 22k today, but I did spend all the time getting 143,000 prayer XP, so, you know, there's a reason why. I still haven't figured out if I want to, like, make another date scurious or whatever. I think I'm going to get the prayer sorted first and see what range level we're at by the time we've got all the bones we need for 70. And that's, that's all where my head's at. I actually did a fire cave yesterday on my main for a couple of combat achievements to get the hard tier done of combat achievements. So I think the the 70 prayer and wearing the dragon bone necklace will actually be hugely helpful. Hugely helpful once we're in there. It, it, it's going to be massive to have that prayer level and the dragon bone necklace online. It will just save us so many prayer points with like the plus 10 prayer bonus that it gives. We're not going to have any other room for prayer bonus. We've got Gilded Dehyde that we'll be wearing, of course. But like, if we could get a Dragon Bone necklace there, it would be absolutely fantastic. Yeah, that's going to be all from me on this one. Hope you're continuing to enjoy it, everyone. And thanks to all the new subscribers who've been pouring in recently. You mean the world to me. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you doing? Why are only 30% of the people watching my videos subscribed? What's this about? Hit that sub button. You know you want to do it for the sub because subs like being hit. Yeah, I said that. Until next time, be lovely to one another. Look after yourself. I'll see you on the next one.